Okay, here is the guppy tank. There is my boy. I don't have names for them yet. And yes, I do name my fish. And then I have two females in here and a ton of snails and a chaos in front of me. I just put this in here. Yes, I did hot water treat it at 175 degrees because I put these little Corys in here. No, I don't have a name for them yet either. I got a white one in here somewhere. I got trumpet snails in here. No, I do not have substrate. No, that is nothing stupid on the ground. That's snail shells and garlic. And there's another guppy. She's checking out the new little hide that I made for them. There's another guppy. I'm looking for the albino. There she is. <laughs> so we got some friends in here. I am wanting more snails and more guppies. If you don't want them, don't flush them. Give me a holler. But I did just add that, and somebody asked me why I do that. That is for my fry whenever they start giving birth. You don't want them going up in your filters. Normally, I use knee highs, but lately I found that out to work better, and I can actually take that duckweed off when it builds up and let it get the heck away from there. But all right, there's my tank. Try to back up here with this freaking broken foot. I don't care if that thing looks stupid sooner or later, and all that's going to be rocked up anyways. Holy crap, you guys. Chaos, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and there she is. I am getting more guppies, and I am taking in guppies. And that's duckweed floating around everywhere. I gotta fix that, so I'm getting off here. Oh, there goes a Cory.